In Okayama, Japan, locals celebrate a legendary amphibian, the Japanese giant salamander, once faced extinction due to hunting and habitat destruction. Now, it's making a comeback. Most species of salamanders and their close relatives, the newts, average just a few inches in length, like this palm-sized fire belly. The Japanese giant salamanders can grow up to five feet in length and weigh 36 kilograms. That's 80 pounds. Known in Japanese as the Osan Sho or pepperfish, this salamander is entirely aquatic and nocturnal. Look at that. During the day, these shy creatures burrow into the riverbanks to hide. It's a relic of the species. This animal has hardly changed for the past 20 million years. Judging by its ancient appearance, that's not hard to believe. Authorities have outlawed hunting the creature, but its habitat is still at risk. The hustle and bustle of modern Japan is hardly ideal for a giant amphibian. More than 125 million people live in this nation of small islands. And land is at an absolute premium. But the real threat to the salamander is here. Dams created to control flooding. Kyoto gets an average of 64 inches of rain a year, much of it during the monsoon season. A network of dams and floodgates prevent the city from getting waterlogged but they are a barrier to the life cycle of the giant salamanders. Herpetologist Dr. Akira Mori is working on a solution. In this rare night footage, giant salamander struggles back upstream after becoming trapped in a dam spillway. When the banks of rivers are covered in concrete for flood control, the salamander's habitat is destroyed. So you bash of an sandan sulu basho to stay scout on it. So you even okina you are no stano schema to have a knock not to shimal to move sandan dekina. To combat the problem, Akira Mori and his colleagues at Kyoto University have devised a complex system of ramps and staircases to modify the dams. They allow the giant salamanders to maneuver upriver beyond the dams and back to the mountain streams where they can lay their eggs and continue their species. Zoos worldwide have had some success breeding the Japanese giant salamander in captivity. But Japan hopes that by creating a shortcut around the dams, it will allow these giants to flourish in their natural habitat as well. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium.